Hey there again, welcome to this uh, short video series about how we can implement com comparability between objects in Java. Uh, we had this uh, list of cars, awesome cars, uh, in our array list, and uh, we kind of get an error here because no suitable method found for sorting. Doesn't know how we sort two different objects. Okay, we can see from the error message here that uh, it doesn't really, there is something called comparable and we don't extend that and um, we, need to do, we need to do that. Okay, so how do we do this? Uh, the, the most straightforward way to do this, or the initial way, could be that we have to look at our car class here because this is where we keep all the properties. Uh, so we need to tell the car class, how should I compare myself to another car? And there is a uh, very nice way to do this, and it is uh, basically that we need to implement, we need to tell the class to implement the comparable interface. All right. And whenever we do this, we need to, there is one method that we need to, Im to implement, and that is the compare to. And we can see in the list and the tooltip from NetBeans that it says compare to object. But this is a car. So uh, a quick fix just is to tell it that this is actually comparables of cars. And then we will don't have an object. Oh, if I can get the list back here. Now it says compare to and a car. Okay, so we get the proper type when we type in car here using the generic. Okay, so if we... Um, if we right cl uh, left click on this one over here, we can implement all abstract methods. And it should give us down here, we can see we have an override for the compare to. And we haven't implemented it yet, it's uh, throwing an exception to us. Okay, um, so how do, we, how do we do this? Now we uh, actually have a method here where we can instruct the program how to compare with another car. So first I'm just going to rename this O to other. <clears throat> this is my other car that we need to compare us against to. Um, so one way to do this would be that, let's imagine that we want to provide the default sorting, uh, f let's just take the brand, BMW, Volkswagen, something like that. So we're going to take this and compare it to uh, the brand. Uh, so we take this brand and then we uh, right here compare, okay, um, compare to, and then we need to put in another uh, brand here. So we're going to take the other car and put in the brand here. Uh, and we need to return it. Okay. And we can see here that uh, this uh, method here returns an integer. So that is a number and uh, this number could, could either be a negative number or it could be uh, zero and it can be positive number. And uh, if it is a negative number it means that uh, this this object here it is smaller than the other and it should be um, it should be put before. And likewise, if it is a positive number, it is the other way around. If it's zero, means that uh, they are equal, okay? So let's have a look here what happens now in our, uh, in our um, sorting call here. We can see we don't get the error anymore, because now we implemented the compare to. And if we run it, we can see we it should be okay we need to actually output this again after we sorted it oh shit uh let's just go back here boom so we're gonna just make a new one here and for the overview just put in uh, after sort and before sort okay so let's have a look here what happens. If we maximize this window here, we can see that before the sort, it is uh, it is unsorted. Um, we get the BMW as number three, that it shouldn't be. And after the sort, 
it should be properly sorted here B, P, T and, uh, and a V uh, so this has been properly sorted now according to the brand um, so this is nice now the, the basic sorting works and we have a default sorting and I could change this just so we can see it we can change it to the model as well the model so let's have a look what happens now we get this is unsorted we have numbers between and now we can see after the sort we have the first the last smallest number uh, increasing G and model S so now it's sorted according to model and not the brand okay so that's nice uh, but this might seem a little bit static to us because it is really a pain that we need to go into the source code and update this so um, isn't there a nicer way to do this a more flexible way where we can actually kind of input an object or something like this or make it more flexible in some way and there is and I'm gonna show you that in the next video alright have fun with this bye bye